Hey everyone, it's Kenji. We're gonna make some onion burgers. So these are Oklahoma style onion burgers. Um, I'm not gonna go too much into the history of them because um, you know I'm, I'm more of the cooking guy and not the history guy. But um, if you're interested in the history of these things, you should definitely check out uh, my buddy George Motes. Uh, he does a he does the Burger Scholars over on First We Feast. He also wrote an excellent book called um, Hamburger America. Sorry about that, my battery just died. Um, all right, so yeah, I was saying you should check out my buddy George Motes over on First We Feast. Um, he's, uh, we've, we've both worked on burgers for years. Um, I've known him since my time at Serious Eats um, when he came out with his book Hamburger America and his documentary Hamburger America. Um, anyhow, Oklahoma onion burgers, uh, beef, lots of onion, cheese, and that's about it. Um, the technique is really where it's all, what it's all about. All right, so I'm gonna get this cast iron pan going. You don't have to use cast iron, but you want something heavy that's gonna retain heat and something that you don't mind scratching a little bit. So cast iron is kind of perfect for this. Carbon steel also works. Um, so we wanna preheat this. We're gonna get it really, really nice and piping hot. Okay, and meanwhile, I'm gonna take these onions. Um, one of the essential tools for this is a mandolin. Mandolin like this, a slicer. This one's about the Ben Renner. It's, um, I don't know, 30 bucks or so maybe. Um, you can use this or you can use a you know, if you happen to have like a meat slicer, like a deli slicer, that works too. But you want to get this basically as thin as it'll possibly go. You want your onion slices to be really, really paper thin and really even. Um, and so for about, that's about four ounces of beef, maybe actually a little bit less, small burgers. Um, we're going to use about, you know, two and a half ounces of onion or so. So it's maybe like a quarter to a third of a large onion. That's a good amount. All right, so I'll set the rest of this aside. Meanwhile, I'm gonna season my beef. Okay, so salt and pepper. Normally I would use pickle chips, by the way, but I didn't have them. I just had these pickle spears that I made with my daughter last year. Uh, so I just chopped one of those up and I'm gonna use those. Season the beef uh, one side first, like that, okay. Then I'm gonna lightly flatten this out a little bit, like that. Okay, and then flip it over. And then, don't season that second side yet, but pile on the onions, let's see. You wanna, you wanna have like a big haystack of them, like this, okay? And then the, the other tools you're gonna need are, the only other tool you're gonna need actually is a really stiff spatula, so like this. This one's from OXO, but you know, any, any nice, thick, stiff spatula will work. So this is, you know, a, a, it's done slider style. So you see, we're gonna kind of steam everything, um, sort of in the style of, you know, White Castle, but but better. Um, <clears throat> White Castle actually the, I would argue is the inventor of the hamburger because prior to White Castle and somebody else, you know, who maybe knows a little more about this can correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure about this. Um, White Castle was the first company to make, uh, to serve their hamburgers on soft round burger buns that were specially baked for the burgers. Before that, burgers came on either hard rolls or on uh, toast. Um, so 1927, I believe it was, sometime in the 1920s, White Castle invented the burger bun, um, which I think thereby makes them the creator of the modern hamburger. All right, and they still cook their burgers the same way. They, they steam them over a bed of onions. All right, so the way we're gonna do this now, we're gonna start by smashing this, okay? So this is really nice and piping hot. You saw I was moving it around a little bit because I wanted to make sure that, um, you know, so like a, a Western style gas ring, it spreads the flame out. So if you just have your pan like this, what ends up happening is it gets really hot on the outside but not too hot in the center. So you get this weird heat pattern. Um, so what I'm trying to do by moving this around is make sure that it's heat, evenly heated all over so I get a nice sear all over this patty. All right, so no oil in the pan. It is a well-seasoned pan, but there's no oil in it, and the idea is that I want this meat to stick. You do this whenever you're making a smash burger, whether, whether it has onions on it or not. Okay, get the patty on there, and then I'm gonna smash. And you can see what I'm kind of doing, trying to do is go from the center and smash towards the edges so that it gets thinner towards the edges and a little bit thicker in the center. That way, You get this nice, uh, these nice crusty, lacy edges. 
while still maintaining a little bit of juiciness in the center of the patty when it's done. Once it's smashed out like that, you don't want to fuss with it too much. Um, so that's about it. I'm not going to touch it anymore because I don't want too many juices to squeeze out. Um, I'm going to let this sit here. So it's going to cook on this one side for quite a while, most of the way through. Um, and meanwhile, I'm going to season those onions up. Then I'm going to get my onion towel ready. Everyone has an onion towel at home, right? Um, this, is the, this is the towel that you don't mind. Not that one. My wife would kill me if I use that. Uh, this one. I'll use this. So you want a nice clean dish towel. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to trap steam using this towel. Um, so uh, once you do this, this towel is never going to not smell like onions again, no matter how many times you wash it. So make sure you do it with a towel that you don't mind having a bit of an onion aroma down the line. Okay. Other things to get ready. American cheese, always American cheese on this burger. You want it to really melt nicely and nothing melts as well as American. Um, and then a, a hamburger bun that is not just like one of the super cheap uh, store, bo store, bu store brand buns because those with a juicy burger like this, they tend to kind of disintegrate. So you want something with a little bit more hardening. So brioche works okay, but this is a King's Hawaiian roll, which I think is great for this because it's got a little bit of sweetness. You can also absorb plenty of uh, hamburger drippings without dissolving. All right, so once we see that nice browning around the edges, now we're gonna just start scraping. So I, you see, I have my stiff spatula turning it over so I get a little more leverage. And I'm trying to get under every little edge here with the idea that we're trying to make sure that we don't leave any browned bits behind. So once you've loosened up all the edges and get under there, give it a flip. Do you see how nice and browned and crispy those edges are? Actually, even with that preheating, the center of the pan, you can see, was actually still a little bit, you know, a little bit paler than the rest, but that's all right. It's still going to taste fine. Get our cheese on there. Now our buns. So top bun first, okay, and our bottom bun on top of that. And then we're going to take our onion towel and cover it. I saw them do this. I can't remember where it was at. A, it was at a slider joint in Detroit. Um, I saw them doing this uh, where they would fill up the entire griddle. So they fill the whole griddle up with onions. They put the burgers on top, uh, the raw patties on top. They would put the um, the buns stacked like this. So you had this whole row of buns uh, and then they covered the whole thing with a towel and everything kind of steamed all through together. And it, you know, so when you do that, Everything steams in the onion vapor, the buns absorb this onion vapor, the burger gets really nice and oniony, and you get this really nice cosmic oneness to the, uh, the slider that you don't get if you, don't, if you leave it uncovered. Um, if you've ever been to White Mana in, ha I think it's in Hackensack in New Jersey, right across the river from where I grew up. Um, if you've ever been to White Mana, one of the really old school uh, slider joints also. They do it the same way as they do at that place in, Mich in uh, Detroit and Michigan, but without the towel on top. But White Mana also makes an excellent uh, old-fashioned slider. And so what's happening here now is those onions, you saw they were kind of thicker in the middle and they spread out towards the edges. So what's going to happen is that the onions right around the very edges are going to get really nice and dark and almost burnt. Then you're going to get a sort of layer of caramelized onions. Then in the middle you get this kind of steamed, softened onions that are dripping with burger juices. Um, so you get this these multiple textures and flavors of onions, which is one of the things that makes uh, this particular sandwich so good. All right. Ready to go. I'm going to take my bottom one. Ooh, nice and soft and oniony. I'm going to put my pickles on it. If you want to do topping, you know, if you want like condiments at this point, ketchup, mustard, whatever you want to put, you can put it here, but I think this burger doesn't need it. Okay, so I got my lower bun. I'm going to again, make sure I get all that crusty goodness. And now here we do the uh, the squeeze and pull. So everything's on the top bun, put the lower bun under the spatula, squeeze and pull. And there is, look at those onions, our Oklahoma 
onion burger ready to eat. Hmm. Beef and onions. Um. Hmm. You can see how nice that cheese melted. Everything's nice and steamy. I'm a little bit pink and juicy in the middle still. Mmm. That is a tasty burger. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna enjoy this. Guys, gals, non-binary pals, I will see you next time. Bye-bye.